Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create some mail art. So a while ago I asked my email list if they would like to receive a snail mail from me. And I'm so glad so many of them replied yes. So today I'm going to show you two of the envelopes that I'm creating. And for both of the envelopes, I'm going to use this craft paper envelope. I like using craft paper envelope because the color is very neutral. That means I can use a light color marker or dark color marker. Um, whatever color I use usually will show up pretty good. So I'm going to also use this postcard marker. It's acrylic based paint marker. That means when it dries, it will be pretty much waterproof or you know, water resistant. So I don't have to worry about the envelope get splashed on with water or get rained on. And with the postcard marker, the coverage is usually very good. So the color will definitely pop. And for the address here, I made this guy sheet uh, just for doing envelope. It's really just you know, a grid that I can easily center things. So you can definitely just use a ruler to measure where the center and where you want to place the address. But since I'm going to make several envelopes, so I figure if I have a grid line, it would be easier just to make things go faster. So when I do center a line address, uh, I like to first write on the edge of a piece of uh, scrap paper. And that way I can uh, get an idea, a really precise idea of how long this address line is going to be and then I will just align it on center. So if you're doing a whole bunch of envelopes, this might not be the most efficient way to do it. But since I'm only doing a couple envelopes at a time, it's no big deal to write the address twice. And for her last name, I'm using the Uniball Signal white pen. This is one of the you know, best white pen that I like to use, either this one or the Jelly Roll. And then so I write her last name just across her first name. I think it's a nice contrast using the bold, you know, uh, sans serif font for her first name and a, a scripty font for her last name. And then to add a little pop, I added an outline and also some embellishment. So this is, you know, not complicated, but I think for envelope art, you know, you don't have to do too much to make it pop. I also added some dots to fill up the white space around the bottom of the envelope. It kind of echoed the dotted border that I put on her last name, so I think they go pretty well. For the second envelope, I'm going to do her name on the left side, on the diagonal way, and then the address is going to be on the right side. So I like to measure out where the address is going to be, and then whatever space is left, I will use to write the first and the last name. So I use a pencil to kind of sketch out how much the space will take and then just to know that I won't be running into the space for the address. And then so for this one, I used also a Posca marker, but this time I used a green one. First, I will write just simply a sans serif font and then later on, I will make it bold and thicker. So these Posca marker really covers really well. Of course, you can also use acrylic paint so whatever paint you choose, just make sure that it will be kind of water resistant because you never know, you know what your mail goes through before it gets to the final destination. And so for a sans serif font type, I just kind of thicken every line. So with these envelope art, you can write very beautiful calligraphy, but if you are not so confident, writing the name really big is just a simple way to make your envelope look all that more special. So while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to write her address. And then to embellish the name furthermore, I'm going to use this silver jelly roll pen to create like a 3D effect. So I have another video showing you simple ways you can embellish your letters. And this is one of the techniques to make it three-dimensional. It's really quite easy. So once you figure out the trick, you can easily make your lettering pop. Especially for this one, because the paint, the green paint is a little light. So I think adding a 3D effect really helps the letter to pop that much. So now I'm using a Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica pen. This is a, like a gel pen, but somehow it's just a lot more smoother than any other gel pen I have. So I like to use this one to create you know, fine details. So I think giving it an outline really just makes her name pops all that much. So I hope this video will inspire you to do some mail art and send out some snail mails to your friends and families. 
In the next video, I'm going to show you a completely different style of hand letter and mail art. So if you're interested in doing more mail art with me, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Bye!